All right, so DuckDuckGo has some sort of new search or chat AI feature. So if I search for something, come over to the chat tab here, get started. Now here's what's interesting. You can actually choose from GPT 3.5 Turbo, and you're gonna be able to use this for free as well as it should be anonymized. Now that's their claim, of course, what actually happens. Who knows if you trust DuckDuckGo though, maybe this is worth using. So I could choose from that or several other models, including two of the open source models, and then just choose next. Whatever I agree, probably in there says that your stuff's not actually private. And then yeah, you can just request something like, what is that? Wow, it did a great job of that. What is, Let's see if we can actually do something. Good, there you go, finally got a question. I don't know why it didn't give me a response to this. Why didn't it respond to that? Let's test this here. Seems like it's a dumb version of 3.5. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so I guess the first response was just lame. Oh, well, no, actually that first response was just like a welcome message. It just ignored the question I asked before that. Must be some sort of bug in their system that redirects to the chat tab. Yep, and then over on the left here, I can switch over to a different model. That's something like, who is POTUS? <laughs> Not gonna talk about politics to tell me who is POTUS. This is such a problem in terms of these models. They've panicked and gone way overboard for protecting us. They, they can't even answer a question like, who is the president? It's just absolutely ridiculous. Seriously, just won't tell me who the president of the United States is. Do I have to ask a question to get you to respond? Wow. Cannot just tell me who the president Nope. Okay. Well, there you go. It tells you all you need to know about Cloud 3. I would never use that at all. What a piece of garbage. You know, I bet the llama model will answer that question. Fair enough. It is an acronym. Question I have is, did they integrate this with any sort of search capability to be able to figure that out? Yeah, okay, got that right. Let's come up here to GPT-3.5 and let's ask a question, something that will require searching the web. Oh yeah, what was the verdict of the Trump trial? Okay, so can't provide real-time info. So it doesn't have any ability to search, at least not with the 3.5 model. Let's see, can any of these others do this? Okay, yeah, looks like they don't have any sort of ability to reach out and perform a web search, which is interesting because if you are a web search company like DuckDuckGo, you would think this is something that you would prioritize making available. Probably something they'll add in the future. Still interesting to me that they would add this without some ability to search their massive database of indexing of the web. So now in my opinion, I prefer Brave in terms of searching. Let's ask it that question. Yeah, let's answer with AI. That's a much better experience in my opinion, just to be able to click a button there and get the response And There you go. Okay, so Brave's version of AI summary here actually can go out and search relevant events and give you responses and actually give you the details of the verdict in this case. I'm just commenting on this because I think it's actually a good thing that we're starting to see search engines integrate the ability to use models that can do a good job of summarizing things, finding knowledge that we might not other find, and just in general, simplifying the process of searching and making it much more efficient, which in my opinion, that is the primary use case of any of these AI type systems. It's to simplify the process of finding information and it has nothing to do with some sort of artificial general intelligence.